all right welcome back guys now we are going to start writing the javascript logic for the mp3 player or the music player rather and there are some things we need okay so um one of the first things we well maybe not the first but one of the files we need is a music.js file where we are going to have um a list of uh the songs we want to you know be in the app so right here i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to call it music dot js okay so that's one then uh i should actually say that i have the um mp3 that i need and the images as well so let me quickly show you that so if i come here to my um file explorer i have image one two three four and here i have you know some royalty free um mp3s you know that i got online okay from bensound.com all right so those are the um, files i'm going to be using in this project okay so let me for now okay i think i can leave the music open so what i'm going to do first is i'll open my script.js and what we are going to um, primarily spend our time on in this first video is to create the variables okay so the variables that will target all the um, elements on the index html okay so let's just come here so first off there's a way i like to arrange it so i'll say um just a minute so i'll start by creating variables for the play the previous and the next button okay because like those are the main things that stand out when a person opens an mp3 the person wants to play a song so um the variables are quite much okay i'm gonna say it from the beginning okay so that's why we are even you know dedicating a video to just creating all the variables we need so i'll say const play and i'll set it to be equal to okay i can actually do variable query selector based variable and the class we have for that is dot play right so you can actually go and check these classes okay i still remember them very well and because we have so much variable i'm just going to add a comma here right i'll duplicate this and get rid of the const okay then this one i'm going to say previous so previous and i think the name of the class is prev prev so prev and it will represent this previous button okay i'll duplicate this one and i'll make this one next so next copy that and here it will also be next okay all right so we still have more variables to create so the ones we're going to target now is i wonder if i can add a comment here and come to this line just to i, I just want to separate the variables and come to this line and then continue creating more variables okay let me just see if it doesn't work i'll change it okay so here right i want to create variables that will target this image the song title and the artist so here i'll come here and say i'll name this one track image okay then i would of course that's the same name for the uh class track image okay then let me duplicate that and the next one is going to be for the title so it also has a class of title i'll copy that and i'll just say title i'll duplicate this and this one is going to be artists okay and the same for the class name okay so let me separate it here now i'm going to um come to this volume area okay don't mind the way i'm naming the variables i'm just naming it the way um i'm going to apply the functions okay so i'm going to come to this uh what's it called volume area and i'll write i'll get the variables for the volume okay and if you come to index html right let me just expand this guy you will see where we have the player controls and the volume is actually the last component where is it yeah this volume right it's the only part where we actually use ids okay so this first one has an id of show volume the other one has an id of volume icon and the last one has an id of volume okay so i just wanted to specify that so that you are aware 
Okay, so let's come back here. And so this one is going to say uh, current volume. And I'll set it to, be, oh, <laughs> what am I doing? I actually just wanted to copy this guy and paste it in, okay? And I'll say current volume. And it's going to be query selector and it's an ID, so it's going to be hash volume. Okay, then I'll just duplicate this twice. This one is going to be show volume. And here we're going to say show volume as well. Okay. And okay, let me let me do it like this, right? Let me come here. So the show volume is the one with ID of show volume. So maybe I'll make that first. Okay, so show volume will come up, control X, control V, then uh this last one I want it to be the volume icon. So I'll say volume icon and it's going to be hash volume. Okay, so I'll just say hyphen icon here, right? And I want it to be the second so that it's just orderly. Okay, so this show volume is this guy that displays the volume. The volume icon is this one, and then the current volume will be this um, slider here okay all right so now um i'm going to create a variable that will target this slider okay this guy here that controls the song timer kind of okay and where am i going to place this variable okay i think i'll place it before the volume okay Okay, so maybe what I'll do is I'll just come down here, I'll add to, then I'll grab this guy here, control C, and I'll place that, and then I'll just call it slider, okay? Okay, and the class for that is duration slider, if you remember, so duration hyphen slider, okay? Um, what else? Then we have this auto play button, okay? So I'll grab this guy. Oh, I can just actually just duplicate this guy down and I'll say auto play. So auto play and the class for it's a class actually. So the class for that is play, uh, play hyphen all if you remember correctly, okay? Then we have two more variables one is going to target the current time right which is this one here and then the song duration the track duration okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put that above this slider okay so permit me to duplicate this slider twice and this one is going to say track current time so track current Oh, what's going on here? So track current time. What's going on here, man? Time. And it's the class it's the class is um actually current time. So dot current hyphen time. Okay. Then this one is going to be track duration. Track duration. And the class for that is duration time. So I'll just say duration time. Okay. So basically these two um, variables here, this is the current time and this is the track duration. And then this is the slider. Okay. And then we have the volume controls here. Okay. Then for the um, hamburger, this hamburger here, you know, when you click on the hamburger, you want this playlist to slide in okay so we're going to target all of that so i'll just come here add double quotes oh sorry Control z z i'll duplicate that first then i'll separate it so here 
I would say hamburger, hamburger, and the class for that is F A I think bars, bars. Okay. Then after the hamburger, we're going to target the close icon. That's this one here, such that when you click on it, it will slide out of the page. And the class of that is okay. We're going to do we're going to do target it right. So we're not just going to say F8. We can actually say F8 times because it's the only icon with F8 times on the page, I think. So we can say F8 hyphen times. Then we're going to call it close icon. Okay. Then we are going to this playlist, right? This playlist on the left here, right? It has a... Um, let me let me just come here i need you to know what exactly i'm doing so there are two things we're interested in targeting right oh i'm going up i need to come down the first is this music playlist right the whole music playlist div right the second is this playlist class this guy here we're going to target the both of them so let me come to my javascript and i will create another oh sorry i'll duplicate this downwards and do another comment there and this one i'll call it music playlist so music playlist and that's the name of the class as well so i'll say music hyphen playlist okay then permit me to i'll duplicate this one down and i'll change this this one is just going to be just playlist so play list and that's the name of the class as well so i'll just get rid of this one here okay all right so uh i think these are the variables we need right so there, there's still one more variable we'll create okay so but these are the main variables we need for the project at this point